Here one. So she I did Dangarampa. V three Killing Harmony. And killing somebody else today because I feel like today someone's gonna get Merc. I, I don't know, I, I kinda have a feeling it's gonna be Angie. I don't see her making it much further now. So I think I'm wrong about her living. But they could throw something out of left field and just like have somebody completely unrelated die. My guess is that like, okay, because you got this rift going on, right? I keep calling it a rift, I like that word. You got the student council. You got, you know, Keebs. You got, well, Angie obviously, Gonta, and uh, Smoogie. And then, oh, and Himiko. And then you got Tenko who said that she was part of the student council, but she's actually just infiltrating it. And then you got the other side with, uh, um, I almost said Makoto. Dang it. Shuichi, gosh. Shuichi, Maki, and Kaito were all against, you know, this whole ordeal. And then you have Kyo, Miyu, and Kokichi on the side. Now, I think Kyo, Miyu, and Kokichi are probably safe this round. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. Watch, I'm going to be completely wrong. One's going to be the victim and one's going to be the murderer. But I, like, I, I think they're not as involved as everyone else is in this big to-do. But anyway, oh, right. Maki was at the door, I forgot. What's with that face? You look like you just woke up. Huh? I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. You wake up to that? If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start getting used to this place. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose that's true. Hey! It's fine. Let's just stop the ritual. Huh? Kaida, oh my god. Okay. Heard from Maki Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like Angie's gonna do the ritual. She's not gonna like it. Maki Roll? Don't give me such a weird nickname. I love it. That's perfect. We're gonna go eat a Maki roll <laughs> later. You brought Kaido here, Maki? Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case a straightforward approach fails. Who better than Kaido for a <laughs> less than straightforward approach? But... but Kaito, are you feeling okay? <laughs> we don't have time to be worrying about me. We gotta put this stop. We gotta put a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting the dead crap. And then we can finally drop that topic. Or else I'm not gonna last. I'm not gonna last. Kaito, are you Um Scared? Huh? No. Uh, it's just that I remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since. We started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! D don't be stupid! There's no way! <clears throat> uh, um, so, I was right. Got a minute? Wait. You mean the reason you didn't come to training is because you were scared? It's not that I'm scared, it's just how my body is. I'm fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories. Since I was a kid, whenever I hear them, I start to feel sick. Kaido was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. So that's what happened. So let's hurry up and stop Angie, so we can put an end to this spooky stuff. If things get any scarier, I still usually die from a heart attack. Why are you looking at me like that? Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Let's just stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Maki Roll. Hurry up. I told you. Seriously, don't call me Maki Roll. Um. Anyway, let's go to Angie's lab. Maki Roll. <laughs> Alright. I can't believe someone your age would hide in bed because they're afraid of ghosts. Well, you know, this is, uh, just how my body is. Can't do anything about it. So you can stand to be around assassins, but ghosts are where you draw the line? I've been told that I'm scarier than any ghost. What? Huh? I'm not scared of you at all. Didn't I tell you? You're just a weak coward. And you just started your training. You, of all people, don't get to call me weak. Shut up! Let's go and stop Angie. <laughs> Alright, so how's everyone doing today? I'm doing superb, thank you. Alright, anybody else hanging around? Negatory. Alright, let's go. Oh, this is a long loading screen. What the fudge? 
All right. Morning, Exesels. Oh, Keys, what's up, man? Good morning, Kyo. Yes. Ah, good morning. Oh, well, if it isn't Kaito, are you feeling better already? Yeah, somehow. Sorry, though, we don't have much time to talk right now. Well, don't push yourself. Things feel amiss without your boisterous voice. Okay. Yeah, sure. My bad for making you worry. That's yes. All, all because you were scared. Did you say something? Shut up! It's nothing. Right, Maki Roll? I told you. Quit calling me Maki Roll. Yeah, like I said before, this is where I start really, like, um, feeling close to these characters. I'm gonna be sad when the next person dies. Where am I going? It's not this way. Oh, it's up here. Gosh. I just wanted to look around. I just have this impulsiveness to just go to places that I'm not supposed to. That could be taken multiple ways. Uh, anyway, rolling along. Uh, let's just, you know, let's just cut to either me getting to the thing or somebody popping up. Uh, back at it. V3, 2017. Oh, snap. Better stop Angie. Uh, I don't know what rhymes with Angie. Oh. 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 That's just Himiko. You guys again. Why? Himiko, why are you here? Were you keeping watch this whole time? What a pain. I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. You. So what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't let it happen. Uh, okay. Th that's exactly right. It's not just because I'm scared or anything, okay? Sure. But it's good I... that you're here. She won't open the store for anyone but members of the student council, right? Then... So tell Angie to open it for us. Mm -hmm. That's not possible. Huh? Not possible? Because she's dead. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must really be into her work. She won't come out. Huh? Won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? Mm -hmm. She should be inside. Both this door and the back one are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. It really is locked. Well, these doors only lock from the inside. Which means there's definitely someone in there. Hey. Any response? No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. No answer. We need to get inside right now. Yeah. Why? Ah. But you know, even if we wanted to check, it's locked, so we can't do... I, see. <laughs> see, I knew it. I heard everything. I'm just as shocked as you are by what the tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything at all. Ew. Where did you come from? A little birdie told me that now would be a good time to bust out my trick. That's automatically going to make him suspicious, though. Kokiji's trick. Lockpicking. Lockpicking? During the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into rooms by lockpicking. Can you use your lockpicking skills to get this lab door open? You want me to pick open the store, huh? Hmm, let me see. Kokichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. Oh, it's a cinder, cylinder lock. No, this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. What if it's not Angie in there? What if it's somebody else? Um, yes, please, Kokichi. Open the lock. You. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Kokichi, hurry up and open the door. My bad. All right, Amiko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Dude, I'm getting nervous. We we know Kyo's okay, so that's all that matters. Just gotta... There, open says me. Huh? That's simple. <laughs> Not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Well, lock picking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me. Ah, that cuts real deep, Maki. All right. Let's get inside. I'm worried about Angie. Got it. Yeah, you're right. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. When I touched the doorknob, oh god, I realized that my palms were sweating for fear. Fear? Why am I nervous? I turned the doorknob, pushed open the door, and saw... Ah, uh, yeah, it is her. Holy moly. This is an official announcement. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please assemble at the Ultimate Art Lab. <laughs> she puked again. It's green this time. Monofanny's green puke is said to be a, an omen of bad luck and disaster. What on earth is about to happen? Oops. Well, I was right, actually, at the beginning of the chapter. I said something was going to happen to Angie. Let us pray for Angie. So that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. Atua, please take care of Angie. It killed me. Hey, well, why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have Atua with her? You don't know? Clearly she didn't. Weird. Th that's not true. Angie say Atua always by her side. Well, now, now he is. We don't have time to be talking about this. Instead of talking about Atua. Right? Yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing game. Wait, this is is the part of the killing game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. No way! But, but why would someone do such an awful thing? Is that really what happened? Huh? Could it be? It's possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but the transfer student. Or one of those mother bleepers. Obama soaked entrance. How novel. And the puke is green again in tow. That's a pretty ominous sign. Why did another murder happen? What's the deal, Mama Dom? I thought you were going to make everyone get along. It's okay. Don't worry. Overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. That has been the case so far. Yes. Their bond gets stronger with each trial. Does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. Ugh. But how? So, let's get started. Like Black Eyed Peas. We are all friends. Conduct a friendly investigation. Then we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. I'm curious how she died. I couldn't really see any weapons. Oh, look, the Monokuma file. I wanted to be the one to pass it out. Didn't you want to do a mon two Monofanny? By the way, I've been thinking. You guys should knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is like so lame. Living is all the rage these days. More green puke. This is really unlucky. As there is no use complaining, we are better off beginning our investigation. So everyone, we all know what we need to do, yes? Yeah. Yep, I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to the dead bodies. Not Gonta! No way Gonta ever get used to this! No. Trust me, you don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. <laughs> That's nice and all. This seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Actually, I would think it would be more sincere. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. But still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. And in the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Alright bro, I'm counting you as my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? We seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the culprit. The culprit? Is it really? Someone among us that killed Angie? 
Hmm. I got how you feel, Smoogie. But you have to repeat that tired old line every time. Uh, no, that's not it. I mean, could this have been the work of the transfer student? Huh? And you prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? And she made those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual. Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her? Hey. What? Shut up already. What? It's her fault. Selling scary stories out of nowhere like that. S saying messed up stuff like that. Uh, uh. Kaido, are you alright? Sure. Sorry, Shuchi. I need to get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys. Kaido left, still a bit wobbly. Do a good job. That coward has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> eh, maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage. Jeez. You've clearly settled right in your sidekick role. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well, Where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. Yeah, let's take a look. The victim is Angie Unaga, the ultimate artist. The body was found in the ultimate artist lab. The time of death is approximately 2 in the morning. The cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. Oh god. Forehead also has a laceration. Huh. It'd be funny if Tenko was the killer, because she'd truly be a backstabber then in more ways than one. The Monokuma file included the time of death this time. 2 a.m. Everyone must have been asleep. Probably can't rely on witness testimonies. But the murder happened at nighttime after all. If everyone had followed the student council's rules like Angie and Atua said. <laughs> what good will saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council, yes? Why? A member of the student council? Th that's... Right. We should go and figure that out. Let's start investigating and solve this mystery together. It's impossible. I can't. Himiko? I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But if we don't make it through the class trial, then everyone will die. Whatever. I don't care anymore. <gasps> what? What a pain. Surviving and everything else. It's too much of a pain. What was that? Why don't we just use our magic to revive Angie? Please stop! There's no time for your mean spirit of taunts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say that for certain. We cannot say that for certainty, no? Huh? Excuse me? No. Well, of course, resurrecting her is impossible, but I know a way we can speak with Angie. You see. I can summon her spirit with this a seance called the Cage Child. Seance? What are you trying to pull? Seance? What are you talking about? Cut it all out already. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is no time for jokes. I am serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation? Yes. If we speak with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift close. Well, First, a resurrection ritual, now a seance. Are you messing with us? Do you understand? I would appreciate if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written in, uh, written of in literature the world over. In fact, my, I myself have participated in seances a great many times. Huh? Many times? <laughs> On top of that, we have here a rare chance to perform the legendary seance, the Cage Child. It would be foolish to not take advantage of this, yes? No. no matter how you put it, now is not the time for something- However... Oh, I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance, yes? What? My earlier theory? Therefore... The possibility of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into this class trial with such outlandish theories in one's head. So to prove such a thing impossible, I think it best we consult Angie herself. Incomprehensible. Th that logic is peculiar, to say the least. Mm. Holding a seance to find out about the ritual, so we're gonna fight the occult with the occult. Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easiest solution. How exciting! Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway. Huh? Hmm. I'll help too. Huh? You too, Himiko? If I can talk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. A seance or whatever it takes, I'll do it. Well, I I'll help out as well. I can't leave Himiko alone. Do whatever you want. Yes! Okay, I will. So then, 
So now we have four participants, Kokichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the cage child requires five people. We're still one short. Fine, then Keyboy can come too. You're right. I guess we can't be picky. Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Well then. So then, we need a place to perform the seance. Where shall we do it? Mm -hmm. How about your lab? No. No. In order for the cage child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. Then... How about the empty rooms? That's... Empty rooms? The ones on the fourth floor? Mm. There aren't any windows there, so if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch dark. Yeah. Sure, I'm fine with that. Listen up. I agree with Himiko. Tell me your thoughts. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Then... Um, the middle room. The middle room is always best for stuff like this. I see. Yes. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have you for help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment from my lab. Uh, um... are, are you really going to do this? This is for our investigation. I said as much, did I not? We need to use all our effort to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. Hmm. That is peculiar. Kyo, Kokichi, Kibo, Tenko, and Himiko all off the scene. This is stupid. Are they serious about this stupid seance? But... Oh, I said Siri again. Sorry. Wait. <laughs> I said, hey Siri, stop the stupid sounds. <laughs> and she said, hey, that's not nice. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding, Siri. Siri, I'm just kidding. Siri, I'm just kidding. Deep down, I'm LOLing. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Alright. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do. Oh boy. <laughs> this busty brain beauty has got this all figured out. Huh? You mean you know who the culprit is? Huh? The culprit? F that! Hey. Shuichi, do we really have time to be listening to her? Wait. Hey, wait, wait, god dang it! Are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? Just listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me. Listen. Okay. Well, if you're gonna twist my arm, then I'll tell you. you better thank me for this. You know. I know y'all are dumber than fleas, but even you get how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they used for the ritual or another purpose? Well, then. But I figured it out with just one glance. These are diversions. Could it be? Diversions. Listen up. Yep, the culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. About a minute. What do you mean by that? How should I know that? Isn't that Sherlock Homo's job? <laughs> You're a waste of time. Maki turned and walked away. I can't say I blame her. What was that? Eh, that's her problem. Is she on the rag or something? What does that mean? Mm. So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know? Let's just see how detailed these really are. Uh. Hey! Mew tried to look up the wax figure skirt. Hey. What are you doing? Stop that! What? I just want to see if this doll was wearing panties. Wait, do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend is now a doll? If you like wax doll so much, then go F the doll already. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to Mew is a waste of time. <laughs> that was kind of effed up. Too soon, Mew. Too soon. I'm not sure if it's okay to say this or not, but... Could Tanko be the culprit? Huh? Tanko? Oh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No. So you suspect Tenko? Actually. Because as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed into this lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. Angie did allow members of the student council to enter the lab. Oh. Yeah. Angie had been shut away here working on the ritual by herself since the yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That's true. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council after all. No. It's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but... Since only student council members would have been let in here. So Angie only let in student council members. That would be Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Smoogie. Of that group, Tenko is certainly most suspicious. Hey. 
I just want to confirm something. When we got to this lab, you're sure that the front door was locked? Okay. Yes, I'm positive. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Click, 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 click. It really is locked. I knew it. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock to open it. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Click, click, click. Clack. There, open says me. So he picked the cylinder lock open. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock besides him? That's true. Would have been impossible from the outside. The, monoc the monocubs took the key. Okay, here it is. If there's only one key, so don't lose it. Too bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. Let me see that key. Lot it down, swipe the key from Monofanny, then lifted it to his mouth. Nom. Ah, he ate it! So Kokichi's the only one who could have opened or closed the door from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kokichi would have been able to open and close the door from outside. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as they pleased. Huh? So the front door was locked from inside the room. No. Not necessarily. I'm thinking I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Wait, are you serious? You can't even click on the wax things? Oh my god, they're not clickables. Or maybe, maybe you have to get close to Angie's body. Oh, what? No, Angie's body. She's lying face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer look? Okay. Yes, I was planning to. About a minute? Let's hurry up and do it. We can't afford to waste any time here. Maki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over to the body. She has no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. Okay, now I can... There's a Necromonicon. There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of the neck, as well as a laceration on her forehead. The killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck. A sneak attack, most likely. Well. Then what do you make of the wound on her forehead? Maybe the culprit hit her on the head before stabbing her from behind. But her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid-attack? Oh yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not ble bleeding much. What's going on with these two wounds? Huh? What's wrong, Maki? About a minute. Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. What's this doing crumpled underneath her body? What is it? This is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? Uh, um, I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Look, there are hairs stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? Hmm. Why did you spot this monkey? It was hidden under her body. It was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Well, that's true. Well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over it. Okay. Well then, it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just joking. I couldn't resist. You got a minute? You'll need to apologize. I was joking too. That didn't sound like a joke, though. <laughs> Instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necromonicon. But before the ritual is written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. This is the motive. Necromonicon. Hey. Angie tried to perform the ritual written in this book, right? Okay. Yes. If we look at this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. Necromonicon rit resurrection ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make, a, make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn this necromonicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. 
Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy, repeat the name of the deceased three times, then close your eyes and wait. After a while... Gosh, excuse me. It's 7... Oh, it's 7.39. That's not even late. But for me, it is. We're almost done with overtime at our work. But by the time I post this, I'll be, like, well done overtime. You should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual is a success. Oh, she felt a light tap, all right. A sharp tap. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. So these are the steps for the resurrection ritual. Did you really believe this crap? It's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under no circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. Hmm. So we, did, did it say anything about like hanging people? I I missed that. Wait, let me read it again. Okay. G space size and shape doesn't matter. Label it maybe. Parent, so you just have to prepare it. Burn the thing. Sprinkle the thing. Close your eyes and do the thing. All right. So nothing about hanging upside down. All right. Let's take a look at these wax dolls. Four effigies hung upside down makes the scene. The four effigies hung upside down makes the scene particularly eerie. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. If I remember correctly, Angie made all of these wax figures. Hey. Is this rope from the warehouse? You're right. I believe so. That means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten these ropes. Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. The warehouse does contain plenty of things that can be used for murder. Uh. Anyway, none of these effigies are just whack or just wax, but it still creeps me out. That's true. The effigies look exactly like real people. Not just their faces, but their bodies too. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. Why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. Not sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? Right. If they're going to do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit? Angie? Or someone else entirely? Hmm. Yeah, I, I couldn't think off the top of my head. Four FGs. Okay, yep. These black figures are definitely the same ones Angie made. Why are they hung up? Is this also part of the resurrection ritual? Or is there some other purpose? It would take a lot of work to hang all these. That implies there was a reason behind it. What is that reason? Who did it? The culprit, Angie, or someone else entirely? Oh, I, I guess I have to click on the... There we go, the katana. Oh, shoot, that's the one from Kyo's lab. The katana? Stabbed into Kaede's wax effigy. Damn it. Who did this? And why? About a minute. Let me see. Maki nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Oh. Wait, this is a crime scene, you can't... You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, if you can't do that, you can't do that if you don't pull it out. Because... Yes, true, but we have to preserve the scene. Maki paid no mind to my protest and stared at the katana for a while. This... It's a real katana. There's gold leaf on it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I believe it's the one that was on display in the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. Mm. Is that so? Okay. You could probably assume this is the murder weapon, judging from the, pl the blood stains on the tip. The edge is too rusty to cut well. But it would be enough to stab. But... Why, why would they go through the effort of using this as the murder weapon? That's true. Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed the more pseudo -web weapon. It be... Perhaps it's because Akio's lab is on the same floor? They just grabbed something close by? They may have been in a hurry. Yeah. Or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. Huh? A long weapon? Okay. My lab doesn't contain swords or any other weapons of this length. Huh? Ah, really? That's true. I'm not sure how Monokuma found out. But he must know I don't use swords for work. When I first started working, I botched a mission using a katana. I haven't used a sword since, which is fine, because they're a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them personally, just like Angie's was. But how'd they know all this? Anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand now. 
Okay. Must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off that easily. Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I have to wash them later. Mikey scolded me, then stood in front of Kaede's effigy. Hey. I'm going to put the katana back where we found it. If it's too hard to watch, look away. Okay. Thank you. I averted my gaze as Maki stabbed the katana back into Kaede. I know it didn't say Kaede, but I wanted to say it for effect. Even so, I was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy. A hanging, wa oh, a hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual? Or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder weapon than this. What are you talking then, about? what's the reason for this? That's... I honestly have no idea. Uh... We should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Okay. The ultimate anthropologist lab? Yes, let's do that. I want to make sure the katana indeed came from that room. Alright. So, Maki said a key thing there. She has to go wash her hands. So, that's going to assume that the killer had washed their hands too. This door is the lab's back door. Is this... this door has a sliding lock. It's still locked. Oh, look, there's that's gold leaf true. on there. And because no one has used this door since we came in, I believe Angie locked this door when she came in, and it's been locked ever since. Hey. Oh, wait, what's this? Look, there's something gold and shiny on the tab of the sliding lock. Gold and shiny? Could it be? Is that all right? Maki, may I stay for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding lock. So what? You want to unlock it? Go ahead, do what you want. Caref I carefully touched the knob of the lock, avoiding the gold parts, and softly slid the lock open. Okay. Just as I expected, the lock will slide without much effort. Whether you lock it or unlock it. This could be an important clue. Hmm. Still, it's strange that the front door and back door have different locks. The front door that we came in from has a cylinder lock. And the rear door over there has a sliding lock. But by the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. In other words, this is what you might call a locked room mystery, right? <laughs> I don't know anything about the locked room mysteries. <laughs> locked off. Huh? Right. Yes, the cylinder lock's key was taken by the monocubs. So both doors could only be locked from the inside. But only if you rule out Kokiji's lock picking, right? He could have picked the lock cylinder lock on the front door to go in and out of the lab. So he could have created this locked room mystery. It's possible that he locked the door from the outside by picking it after he killed Angie. If I remember That's true. That's right. Also, he appeared in an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. No He's clearly suspicious. It is suspicious, but that solution seems a little too convenient. That does seem very convenient. He could be behind something, I don't know. Oh, I didn't talk to Gomes, did I? Why? A murder at night time is strange. Unpossible, even. Why, Why do you think that? Right. Because student council made rule that we know we can be outside during night time. Everyone should have been asleep. No way a murder could have happened at night time. Do you really think that everyone would go along with that rule? But, but a tour's rule. It's a tour's rule. Angie say he punished us if we not follow his rules. Well, the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do what they wanted. Angie was also working here at night. She was? But... No way. Student council would never break own rules. Right. They should have been asleep in own rooms. To set good example to others. <sighs> Maybe Angie got attacked while she sleep in her room. And we get brought here? Gonta, so, Gonta could have saved her. If only Gonta saw. But Gonta was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gonta no could save you. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside, in spite of the student council rule. Alright, anything else here? There was something. Maybe not. Alright, let's go. It's unlocked, but I think they're... Oh, really? Oh, do I... I probably have to investigate all the effigies. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Four effigies are hung up... Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry. I was trying to harmonize with my yawn. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything. Yeah. 
They're all the same. Hmm. Hmm. Oops. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 pool of blood, okay. Small pool of blood has emanated from Angie's torso. It can't be from her forehead. This blood is from the back of her neck. This blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours ago, or before Angie was killed. Maybe even more. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Angie's blood appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Maki, what's wrong? It's not that important, but... The only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at least. That guy is useless. Anyway, let's continue! Alright, I think we've finished investigating everything for now. Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we've found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry up. You're right. First, we should investigate the ultimate anthropologist lab. We may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. We need to check if the katana really did come from that place. Hmm. Something wrong, Maki. Right away. It just occurred to me. I am acting like your partner. Sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. It's not as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. I'm sure that Maki is a tremendous help to me. Alright, oh fudge. So I think we'll investigate the anthropologist lab and then I'm gonna call it a gameplay. Alright, yeah, let's go. Hmm. Yeah, so far I can't think of anything at all. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Not be with the anthropologist lab is. Here we go. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana is from. Just the sheath. Earlier, the katana was inside the sheath. Okay. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm certain of it. That's true. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab, after all. No. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. All what are you guys doing here? Ew. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the seance? <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that is your signature look. Anyway. I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, but I came back to get it. Huh? Something for the seance. Yeah. Yep, that white sheet over there. Hmm. We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. So that means That's why I figured I'd do a little research on the seance before I got the sheet. Study. So let's see. Fukichi took a look around and I heard it was like some old handmade book. Oh, is it this? Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover, so that must be it. Let's see. What does it say about the caged child seance? Kokichi flipped through the old book he picked up. Oh, is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can see the caged child is mentioned here. Oh, yeah. that's very hard to read. Q is drawing the same magic circle as the one in the picture. Okay, let's see. In order to perform the caged child, you need five people, including the spirit medium, and a dark place with no no light. If I remember just like Kyo said. First, draw the magic circle, pass down from the caged dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle, and rest their forehead on a stone on the ground. Afterward, the other four participants must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. 
And then finally, the dog god must be played on top of the cage. Placed on top of the cage. Also, it says we can't supple the magic circle during the preparations. The dog god? Do you mean the wooden dog statue? Yeah. When preparations are complete, turn out all the lights and create complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are each standing at a corner of the room. Four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the caged child song. After the song, it ask, is the caged child, then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of, of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. Huh. So, I wonder if Angie was doing that ritual. Because she had the four effigies with her. They're all like in a, like a square or whatever. Hmm. And then they said the thing about the forehead, like resting her forehead on the stone or something. And like her forehead had that wound on it. Sounds complicated. But... Complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works or not, Q has been wanting to conduct this seance for a while. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Right. Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. That's probably why he left the book here, because he can conduct the seance without it. But... Is it even possible? Contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join us, Sweetie? You should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. The seance hasn't even started yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> Whether you believe it or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> now you're talking. All right. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one. Kokiji spoke as though he was inviting me to go play, then left the room. Alright. Huh. Alright. We got to end it there, I think. So yeah, I, it does sound like Angie may have actually been performing the seance. Or, I don't know. Like, like I would imagine she would be the, the channel medium in this case, or the, well, the spirit medium, or whatever they called it, in that case. Hmm. That is interesting. Alright. Well, I'm going to end this right here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. As always. Peace!